Uh, my name is Bill Prince. I live in Houston, Texas, and I'd uh, like to uh, show you uh, a puzzle box that I recently uh, designed and built, <clears throat> which took me about three months to uh, fabricate from scratch, and it's called the Heron's Box. And the reason for that is that's after Heron of Alexandria, who uh, invented the uh, worm gear drive uh, at the, about the time of uh, Christ. And, uh, and my box does utilize a, a worm gear uh, in its uh, mechanism for opening and locking the box. Um, I started out um, sometime back with uh, some little sketches and uh, this was my basic concept, kind of reverse engineered it. I had, a, had an idea of how to uh, open a box and from there I, I developed uh, the mechanism to, to fit that procedure of opening the box. This is a little bit uh, more complicated view of the mechanism that I uh, finally came up with to allow the box to be locked and uh, unlocked. And, um, and it's actually the, the, basically the first box, uh, puzzle box that I ever made, except for when I was a kid. I, uh, there was an article in a, in a magazine that my dad had, a 1953 magazine, uh, that featured uh, some uh, puzzle boxes, and I thought those were pretty cool. And uh, I actually made one when I was a kid, and I still have it. I was about 11 years old. And uh, this is the, uh, the box with my little mechanism here, uh, how it opens and, and closes, and how it locks. And, um, but anyway, on my Heron's box, uh, it's constructed out of a three-quarter inch red oak, so it's fairly heavy. The mechanism inside is solid brass, with brass gears, uh, and stainless steel, uh, stainless steel worm gears, stainless steel screws, and uh, fasteners. <clears throat> so the whole box, uh, being about eight and a half inches cubed, weighs uh, about 12 pounds, so it's a substantial uh, box. And when it's locked, I dare say that uh, no one would figure out how to get into it, short of uh, destroying it, which would be difficult because it's fairly well made. But there's no other box, to my knowledge, that has this kind of uh, uh, mechanism and requires this type of uh, uh, opening procedure to uh, unlock it. But I'll show you the box a little bit. Uh, there's my, I say, Heron's box. I actually uh, fabricated all the uh, letters. And I just have a cast in that I used on something else that I designed a while back. Just a, a design with my initials on it, on top. And just an architectural uh, design on the side. And so you can see the, the bottom of the box, the other side, and uh, the back. So it's unlocked right now. It actually has a pin, which I have removed right now, which uh, allows it to only be unlocked uh, when it's upside down. Uh, but I have that removed for this little demonstration. But I'll open it. It's unlocked right now. And I'll show you the, uh, the inside. There's the mechanism box. It's solid brass in the bottom of it. And um, inside there is a uh, tight-fitting box. That is where you would put all of your items in the box. Because about half the box is taken up by the, by the mechanism. So you can see here the uh, inside of the box. All of these grooves, they're here just for the uh, fasteners on the outside of the uh, mechanism. And I'll go ahead and open and show you the mechanism and show you sort of how it works and then I'll, I'll demonstrate uh, the locking. And uh, we can, it'll open up from the top and from the bottom. I'll open it up from the top. And Ken, my photographer, he will come in and show you the show it inside obviously a little bit complex so all of the engine turning I did myself on the top and the bottom but you can see the mechanism everything is brass and uh, these little um, these little 
locking levers here, they come out on the side and they go into, when the top is uh, in place, they go into little grooves in the, on each side and that's what locks it. The pins just align everything perfectly right here to the, uh, to the holes, these pins. But I'll manually do it where you can watch the pins, you'll see the green go away and the red come on the outside. So as I rotate this, you'll see the uh, see the levers go out. And of course, when they're out, they will not they will not go in. They're locked. And so then we can come right back in with it like that. And I'll close it and put the. Locking screws back in place. And I'll demonstrate with the top out of the box initially uh, how it works. So once this is turned upside down uh, to lock the box, of course the box would be in place. And if you watch the levers, it requires the, the the secret is a swirling motion. No other motion. Once the box is upside down and a swirling motion counterclockwise will lock the box. So here we go. So about a dozen times and you see the levers are out on both sides which would then be inside. So to open the box uh, it's a clockwise swirling. And they're in. So if we were to put the top in place, there we go. And so when it's box is upside down and you do a swirling motion to counterclockwise, locked and you can't get into it so then to open it clockwise let's see if it works open and that's um, basically that's uh, my Heron's box The only one like it, and it's my first uh, first go at it. I have a few other ideas for some other unique ones, but probably be less complicated uh, than this box. But anyway, that's uh, that's it. So appreciate it. Thanks.